everyone. I'm Frankie Chu from OFIA and Partners Hong Kong. And I've been uh, actually managing a number of EIAs uh, for many infrastructures of different types, such as new town planning, highways uh, planning, railway design, uh, reclamation, etc. And I've been uh, working on projects in various cities in Asia, including Hong Kong, uh, Macau, Malaysia in Philippines, and Vietnam as well. Uh, probably you know that as part of the EIA studies, uh, you actually cover a lot of uh, noise impact assessment as an integral part of the EIA. And it's actually my honor uh, to share with all everybody here today or tonight and now and I all my views on the noise impact assessment assessment practices. Okay, this slide shows uh, many uh, different noise sources in modern cities. Uh, Road traffic noise and railway noise as shown here are the most common noise sources and affect almost every people in the city. Industrial noises are also not just found in, in industrial estates, but they are also so close to our daily life. For cities with airports, either international or domestic, the noise influence zones could be very significant as compared to the city. For cities close to the seafront, which I do not show here, uh, the noise from marine vessels should also be considered. For example, in Hong Kong, we have many ocean-going vessels, river trade vessels, etc. For this presentation, however, I will focus on road traffic noise, railway noise, and industrial noise. Of course, at the end of this presentation, we can talk about other noise sources during the Q&A section. Mm. For well, wolf traffic noise uh, assessment, I'm sure you know that there are a lot of uh, many different assessment methodologies around the world. Uh, for example, we have the calculation of wolf traffic noise, CRTN from the UK, as the uh, part number one as shown here. And the item two, we have the approach that adopted by the American, and we also have the standard adopted by German, and also the methodology by Swiss uh, as shown here. There are a lot more, of course, I'm sure you know that. Um, when you look at all these formula, they are quite, look quite different and not identical. But if you look through all the rationales and all the formulas behind all this methodology, you will find that actually most of them relate to a number of different input factors as shown here. For example, the track, 